Imagine this, you give it just a screenshot and it gives you hyper-realistic professional render. No powerful PC, no software, no experience needed. Just swap air and one click, that's it. Hi dear, it's nice to be here, I post cool and practical tutorials every single week. If you're enjoying the content, give it like and share it with your friends. Now let's jump in. Before we start, if you haven't seen my previous swap air video, go watch it first. It's packed with powerful info and stunning exterior renders. Don't miss it. So now let me tell you how and from where we can get the swap air plugin. Go to nicestars.com and from this menu find swap AI. Click on it. So as you see, there is Swap AI website. This AI has different tools for different works. So for download Swap Air, come here and click on download. Now find Swap Air and click on SketchUp plugin. Right here, click on it. Now choose a location and save that. Go to extension manager. Install extension and choose swap air and click on open. Now let me active that swap air. So as you see, this is swap AI icon. Let's start work with that. Let me go to in this scene. Click on Swap Air. So after click on it, you will see this window. On the last video, we used a screenshot from here. And in this video, I'm going to show you a different way to take a render. As you see, there is some ready project. So because today we are going to take a render, in an interior design, we should find a interior view right here. Come here and find interior design. So let's try one of them. For example, let me try this one. Just click on copy and start. So then click here to have a screenshot of our project right here. So now just click on create, try it. So as you see, it's done, but it's change something like the materials, it made a window right here. We don't have any window here. So let's try it again. And let's change something right here. If you come on create button, you will see something here, keep material. It has three different level, low, medium, high. Let me try medium and try it again. And also let me increase the accuracy right here and try it again. So now it's better, but I don't want to change the base material. So let's try with prompt, write realistic, change here and try it again. So now, as you can see, it's really good. It's really cool. But if you want to have a realistic render and keep the base material, let me try different way. 
go home like here we have some ready renders as you can see this ready render has a prompt and also there is two option make sure to active this option and go to inside of the second one then you will see this window and in this window make sure the realistic option is selected now click on confirm and then just click on create so it's ready right now it's really cool it's really good look at the light reflection right here it's really cool just we should improve the quality how we can do it go to edit mode right here click on it and from here find image enhancer click on it right here zoom factor and restore level let me try on high and just click on create as you can see it's getting ready look at here wow it's really good now it's really cool and also we can try it again again now it's better it's really cool as you see let's keep the base material and don't change anything one of the great thing about this AI is that you don't need any software like Photoshop to adjust the renders colors it already has its own color tools so now let's adjust the colors go to edit mode again now here find color adjustments click on it after click here you will see this window and from here you can adjust the color let's move it here so presets now it's default you can change that from here on this key now it's in I think it's good let me watch before and after and also from here you can adjust more now it's better and here saturation So it's too much and brightness zero and here And after finish that, just click on apply button. And also here, click on save. Now let's save the render. Go to save button. Right here, choose a style, PNG and ultra quality. And now click on save so guys it's then i hope this tutorial was useful and helpful for you for more tutorials please subscribe to our youtube channel if you haven't already and don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends